Welcome back, Zero K fans! The last exhibition match for tonight is going to be Lightman versus Rymark on Intersection. So we just saw Lightman just now fighting against Floris, getting a bit outflanked. Didn't do a terrible job, but he did get outflanked. Anyway, we're at Intersection. He's going for Light Vehicle Factory first off. Not at all surprising. While Rymark going for Jump Jet Factory, which is kind of surprising. See, starting out with early Pyro and Pyro Puppy. Wow, he's going pretty aggressive. Pyro, two puppies, and then a Freaker. While Lightman, on the other hand, going for Dart and Scorcher, followed by Mason. Less aggressive, going for a bit of a scout. Probably just Scorcher for defense. Against Pyros, Scorchers are okay, but Lightman's going to want to get a Lotus pretty soon. See if he does so. Anyway, Mason coming up for Lightman does have... Well, he's got a lo Lotus coming in at the front, but that's not going to help too much against jump bots. The main point of interest is going to be the main base. We saw the last game the Lightman does not like expanding in his base first. I find that curious. It's very unusual. I can sort of see the logic because your opponent's probably going to be attacking your base first and they might underestimate you if you have fewer metal extractors or they might try to look for them. You don't see them immediately. But at the same time, they're harder to defend when they're out at front. I mean, he has the Lotus up, but yeah, he's going to have to spend time building the Lotus. He's right now at an economic disadvantage as a result of this. And that dart didn't even do much, just spotted it out. Didn't actually force a puppy to kill itself. No, didn't even force a puppy to kill itself. Defender to kill it. So yeah, bit of a waste. And Scorcher is moving out while the Pyro moves in, so Lightman has no defenses in his main base. He has one Scorcher, that's about it. He does just spot this Pyro, though, on his radar. He spots something on his radar. He does know there's jump jet factories. He's going to assume his Pyro. I'm not sure if he's assuming his Pyro, but he can make that assumption. And the Pyro going to go around the side, going to go up this cliff. Not even going to go up the ramp, because he's playing jump bots. One of the advantages of that, they can jump. Yeah, Lightman doesn't have as many metal extractors at this point as Rymark does. So Rymark getting ahead in... Well, getting ahead in metal. Getting ahead in army as a result, and getting get rid of this metal extractor, no problem. Now, we saw last time against Golda that you need two pyros to kill off a recon com reliably, not just one. But it looks like Rymark does not realize this, and is not building another pyro. Just building more economy. Not a terrible idea, but if he wants to kill the commander quickly, he's going to have to get two pyros easily. However, he can at least kill these defenders. Kill. Oh, never mind. The Scorch is getting rid of it. Oh, not quite. Oh, no. That pyro goes down. That pyro gets killed off by the Scorchers. Nice attempt to jump, but not quite enough. So Lightman did manage to fend that off. Managed to keep his southeast metal extractors being built up. And it I will admit, Rymark did not go for the southeast metal extractor. So... Lightman may have a bit of a point in his idea. He did lose one metal extractor, though, in his main base. But these metal extractors were not taken, so they weren't lost, I guess? I don't know. I still think Lightman would have had a larger army if he had done that, but at least he did destroy Rymark's Pyro in his main base, no less. So the army value in Lightman's favor for now, though admittedly partly that is because Rymark has not been building up army. He's been building up economy, focusing very heavily on that and getting a lot of energy, trying to get as quickly as possible, Overdrive. Lightman currently does have the potential for Overdrive. Not using it, though. Not actually going to come up yet. But he has the potential for that. If his Wind Generator was actually connected to the Metal Extractor over here. But it isn't. Okay, this Metal Extractor is getting Overdriven quite a lot, actually. Like, an extra 0.5 Metal? Not bad. Another Metal Extractor here would help out, but... Still, Rymark has a huge power infrastructure right now. He is overdriving to the point of like 2.5 per metal extractor that are normally 2. He's getting a lot of overdrive, and this another metal extractor getting overdrive, so Rymark pushing heavily in his economy. He will want to get something pushing his factory, though. Wants to get more metal into his factory. And there we go, this Freaker is doing exactly that. So that's perfect for Rymark. Lightman, on the other hand, he does not yet need a Caretaker. He's not going for that. He does have his metal extractors up front, but... At this point, the Pyro is going to spot that Mason, and there are some Scorchers to deal with it, but still, that Pyro spots the Mason, spots the Lotus. So, Rymark probably aware at this point that there is something over there, something worth defending. Managed to take a couple Scorchers for a couple Pyros. Not worth it. Pyros are worth twice Scorchers. They are... Uh, cost twice as much to build a Pyro as it does a Scorcher. Cost 220 for a Pyro, cost 130 for a Scorcher. Okay, not quite twice, but pretty close, too. That was not entirely worth it for Rymark. So Lightman getting ahead in terms of army value. Still behind in terms of economy, but he's now just taking the main base and could build up from there. Rymark has taken his front metal extractors. And he's taking one of the side ones as well. 
getting some damage on that, but two Lotuses and a bunch of... Yeah, these Solar Collectors alone. I mean, they help with the Lotuses, but yeah, they're getting in the way. However, not in the way enough. Buying time, that's all they've really done. But the Scorcher is still able to destroy the Metal Extractor. Still, time has been bought. Nothing there to follow up, but... Still bought time, and... Puppy's finishing it off. Down it goes, getting eaten by the puppies. Not really going to... Not going to reproduce more puppies at this point, but still, good thing to eat. I imagine that one of the freakers is going to come along to the base here, or to this outpost here, expand to it. Probably going to expand over the north, southeast as well. No south, sorry, northeast. No southwest expansion for Lightman, though. Oddly enough. No, he's still now focusing on his main base. He's went for this first, but yet not expanding as aggressively as I would have thought he would. Just given how he was starting out with an ex aggressive expansion. We didn't really see the last game how he would deal with that. He did expand a fair bit last game, but it wasn't that aggressive. So I suppose he just likes to start out aggressive and then go back to being defensive. I guess I can kind of see the logic behind it. It's just, it's not something that a lot of players do. That's all I'm saying. It's not bad, it's just a little unusual. It's novel. That's what it is. It is novel. Wait, he has overdrive. Okay, Rymark's still ahead in terms of power. Lightman is overdrive to the point of about three each. Oh, Rymark's getting to the point of very nearly doubling metal income for his main base metal extractors. With Overdrive alone. But both players focusing very heavily on the Overdrive, not focusing very much on the bases to the side. I'm a bit surprised that Rymark has not set up a pylon here. Just to set his power like within his base. To get to share the power within his base, and also to share the power beyond that into this lower section. I'm very surprised he hasn't done that. However, what I'm not surprised he's doing is very nicely pushing metal into his factory. We do have a caretaker coming up from Lightman, but right now he is accessing. He did not build enough workers soon enough to actually get his workers to help out push the factory or help out push the caretaker. The caretaker is 30 seconds away from being done while Rymark has expanded to the southeast, sorry, southwest and the northeast, or at least trying to secure the southwest. He has expanded to the northeast and how many powers does he have? He has half a dozen powers, one of which is over here in the southwest. But the rest of which are going north. Defending the north expansion, I guess he suspects that Lightman might be trying to counter. And Lightman actually is sending his commander there. That is a perfect move, Rymark. Sending the powers in just the right spot. Lightman countering with the Scorchers over to the southwest. But not actually being that aggressive with them. He can't easily get here. We saw the Rymark game. He Rymark likes his static defenses. We saw in the game versus... Versus Morolo, he really enjoys static defenses, and he is now getting the pyros in. Lightman about to lose his commander. Down it goes with all the pyros, but the commander has gone down. Lightman loses that, and that was what he was using to expand there. However, a lot of scores is going to come in. They're going to find a placeholder, and that's it. Rymar keeping his commander at home. St once again, going the same Sporkom he had last time. That's not a great target. So... Placeholder is up here, and that will have no support, so it doesn't really help much. Does catch three of the scores. <laughs> well, catches one of them, and the other two just drive into the black hole. Not the best option, but still, Lightman nicely done there, countering, losing his commander by taking out the northeast expansion. Lightman taking the center pretty aggressive, so he's taking the center, get decent defense along the center, so you can hold on to that. Not a bad thing to do. It looks like he actually managed to get the. Did he defend her out that pyro? I think he defended out that pyro. Nicely done there. That is Lightman taking the center pretty effectively. And if he takes the center and the southwest, I think he'll have the advantage in this game. He has just destroyed the northeast. A bunch of pyros coming in to try to take care of the scorchers, but if these scorchers get in close enough, they should be able to take care of the pyros, and yes, they will. Looks like a couple of the pyros... Sorry, a couple of the scorchers do go down, but still... Cost-effective win for a Lightman. The only downside is that Rymark has had a lot more production for a while. And, of course, the higher overdrive. Though, at this point, the wind generators are reducing in power. So, that's affecting both players. Rymark doesn't have quite as much overdrive as he would like. And Lightman has no overdrive at all. In fact, he is lower on energy than he is on metal. He has no backup solar collectors. He is entirely focused on wind generators, which right now aren't doing especially well. And, of course, Rymark has about twice as many as Lightman does. Lightman might, might want to get more power infrastructure. That's really the thing he's missing at the moment. However, he is managing to get 
More metal extractors. He's managing to get the center. And he does have a decent metal economy. He just needs more power. That's all he needs. Wind's not working out right now. Get some solar. Or he's getting more wind. That could work too. But right now, it's not really worth it for cost. I didn't realize that wind could go so far down this map. That's like... That's 0.5 at the highest ground in this map. That's good to know. Wind is not super useful in this map. However, Dominatrix coming up for Lightman. He's getting Dominatrix Slasher with still some Scorchers. Slasher definitely a good answer to the Pyros if they have Slashers. Sorry, sl if they have Scorcher support, Slashers work out well. Dominatrix, a little bit unsure how that's going to work out. Probably not well, though it could. Pyros are decent on their own, and Jump Jet Factory has a lot of utility units. Dominatrix is a great counter for utility units. So it doesn't really help out. I guess the placeholder it might work, actually. That that could work pretty well, assuming that the placeholder gets the black hole where the Dominatrix is still in range. But yeah, if he manages to take over a placeholder, that would at least stop the Pyros from jumping, and then he'd be able to kill him with Slashers. Not sure if he's going to do that, though. Slasher Scorcher, that is Light Man's focus, and he has managed to get his economy back up and running. Wind Generators are up for both players, so once again, Rymark is further ahead thanks to that. He has more Overdrive working in here. He does still only have his Overdrive focus on his main, on his back expansions, no pylons to push it forward. Rymark right now just trying to take the center, taking a lot of damage for his commander, though. He's, wow, his commander at half health thanks to those defenders alone. No, oh, sorry, defender and slasher. So, Lightman continuing to consolidate the center of the map and starting to take out the southwest as well. He's taking the northeast. He has a Stardust as well. This is where, okay, Stardust makes sense in this case. I can see that now. But he is taking the northeast and Pyro is coming to break the center. They will be able to do so, at least break the defenses. He will need another set of Pyros to finish this off. Or maybe not. The wow. Scorchers both go down, more defenders go down, and another defender is set up. That will stop a Pyro. But the other Pyro able to get in, and another Pyro yet again taking... Well... Okay, it died trying to take... Er, that's a pup. No, it was a Freaker. Never mind. Freaker went over to the north. Or sorry, southwest. And the Slasher here trying to get rid of Pyro, and unfortunately not able to do so. Needs more Slashers and needs some Scorch support. Getting rid of yet another Pyro, but losing a Slasher in the process. However, ultimately gets rid of the Pyro attack. Does lose the center, though, and another set of Pyros would finish it off. But that's not the focus. The focus is a sumo. Rymark going for a quick sumo. Not sure about that, because he only has placeholders besides the sumo. No pyros or anything like that. Lightman could actually go for a counterattack right now and deal quite a lot of damage. Or consolidate heavily in his main base. That would work too, but... Yeah, Lightman kind of ahead economically right now. Does have... Does he still have the Dominatrix? I don't think he does. No, it doesn't look like... Oh, he does! He does, actually. Has the Dominatrix in the center. We'll need to rebuild these metal extractors, but if he does so, he'll be in good shape. The placeholder trying to set up a black hole somewhere. Stopping a Scorcher, but the Slashes are the real concern. That Pyro... Sorry, that Sumo is just now done. And Freaker on top of that, then Puppies, then Pyro again. So we do have a Sumo. That is worth pointing out. A Sumo does exist. And it is shiny. It is also very big and tough, but not especially strong. I'm not sure if Lightman has enough units to counter it, but he does have enough of an economy to be able to push as many units as he needs to counter it. Getting Impalers as well, not a bad idea. Against the Sumo, that won't be a bad choice. Though really the Levelers, well, Leveler Raptor is going to be ultimately what he needs for the Pyro and just generally for assaulting. A little surprised he hasn't pushed forward with the Scorch at least a little bit, just to scout out. What does Lightman know? Lightman knows that Rymark has a decent static defense line in front. He does know that there is a slow-moving enemy unit over the east side. Not sure if he's focused on that, if he wanted to just radar wobble. A little bit hard to tell with a sumo, given its speed. But it is going to the northeast, and he will find out very quickly, and probably the hard way, that there is a sumo on the way. Lightman is still getting more impalers, and they will, if they get in a position, do a pretty decent job on here. They are, however, getting in a position to deal with the defenses, which is also good. Get rid of the defenders. Probably one at a time at this stage, but still, get rid of the defenders. Break open Rymark's defense line, and then push forward. Push in and kill everything. Getting rid of all the defenders. However, that sumo coming in, and placeholder with some low to support. Getting rid of a Scorcher, but doesn't really matter. The sumo is the big story right now. Though it's taken a decent amount of damage. Not really dealing all much damage here. Sumos do not have a lot of damage to deal. The Disruptor Beams 
have a low cooldown. They deal a decent amount of damage, but not great. And honestly, that wasn't the best place to attack to. Lightman gonna lose his Dominatrix trying to capture the Sumo. Not gonna work out too well. It's not gonna last long enough. It really isn't. In fact, thanks to the slow, it's not even capturing at all. He would need more Dominatrices, but however, that Sumo has been surrounded, and Rymark, at the same time, building up Firewalker on top of that. So Sumo has been surrounded, taking a lot of damage. He's gonna jump into the middle of these Scorchers, and it does, sorry, Slashers. Does take out a leveler and a slasher, but not much. However, Pyro's in support in the back. That will help out a lot. The Sumo tanking most of the fire. Stardust not wisely choosing his target. Trying to take out the Sumo. Will not succeed. Sumo pretty close to death, but that could have taken out both Pyro's and still stayed alive. However, the Slasher's able to finish off the Pyro's. One of them in the air. Always love when that happens. That always looks cool. Now at this point, Rymark still... Trying to push out. However, Lightman was able to produce a fair amount of forces in behind there. But with the Firewalker, it's going to be difficult to push in. That's the problem. Lightman can't easily get in here. He has, with Impalers, taken out all the defenders. And with enough Impalers, actually, going to be able to tear apart most of this base. Unfortunately, hitting the wrong spot. Radar dots that do not correspond to what actually exists. The Impalers need to be spotted for. And they are, once again, missing, unfortunately. So, Rymark... Not going for a factory change at all, getting more wind generators, but neither player going for a factory change, so this would be about the time that might happen. I was thinking he might go for a new missile silo, get some infernos, and just deal with the defenses that way. That'd be very powerful, but unfortunately not going to happen. And there we go, hitting the defenders. Finally hitting them. Let's see, what? Yeah, he's, he's way off. We know the defenders over here targeting the wrong spot entirely. And unfortunately not enough wobble to make that work out. And a firewalker coming in. Those Impalers managed to target it. That'll work out nicely, but they are not. They are, in fact, targeting nothing. They're targeting open ground. Rather unfortunate for them. They really need to be spotted. I don't think Lightman is focusing on that at all. Lightman is focusing instead on the Northeast, trying to get Leveler out, a Pyro, and will succeed in doing so. Might lose the Leveler in the process. We'll see if that happens, and yes, it will. That Leveler does go down. And Puppy's being used to get rid of the Stardust. Not doing great. Well, okay, they managed to succeed in dealing with the Stardust. Yeah, they, this needs to be sighted. Now, can Lightman... Okay, he knows that there is something there, but he can't actually see it, and he has the wrong position for his targeting. Bit of a problem there. And the Firewalker, able to just burn out a lot of the stuff that Rymark has. I mean, that's the jump bot factor for you. It's a lot of fire. Great deal of fire, and of course, Impalers do not work especially well against moving units either. But actually, against the Sumo, it probably moves slow enough. It wouldn't matter. That being said, it doesn't much matter because the Impellers are not targeting the Sumo. The Slashes are, but once again, another Sumo, that's a lot of damage being tanked. And another Fireworker coming in. No further Pyros. Like, Rymark has a lot of single strong units. They get stunned out or just bypassed completely. Lightman would be able to tear apart Rymark's base, and he's not, unfortunately, able to do so. The Impellers trying to get rid of these defenders, but no... Like, if he had sent a couple darts up to Scout or even... Oh, no, Scorchers. Scorchers would be better because they would last long enough. Yeah, send a couple Scorchers to spot for those Impalers. That would work wonderfully, but I don't know if Lightman... He's not paying attention to those Impalers, where they're firing. That they're missing. This is the important part, is they're missing. Firing right now, trying to get those Pyros. That will not work out. They do not have homing weapons, and they're all going to die to the Pyros. Nothing stops that from happening. Lightman's main force for getting rid of those defenders goes down. And with that, I think Lightman is probably not going to have much of a chance this game. That's all he was really using to try to get rid of those defenses, and they are down. And the defenders are not. The defenders actually have been largely rebuilt. Rymark just dealing with that as effectively as he can. Really, what is needed here is Ravagers. Loads of Ravagers. A dozen or two dozen Ravagers just to tank all of this and tear it apart. That's what Lightman needs to do. Impalers aren't a bad idea, and having a bit of support, having them as support, artillery support isn't a terrible idea, but what he needs on top of that is two dozen Ravagers. March them in, Tear apart the defenders. They don't have very much health. They will die quite quickly. In fact, given the amount of health they have, they have 300 health. And Ravagers deal 210 damage a shot. So it takes two Ravagers to kill a defender in one shot each. But still, that is that is what needs to be done. That is the thing that Lightman needs to do here. Get lots and lots of Ravagers. And maybe a few levelers too, for good measure, because the powers do jump. But yeah, lots of Ravagers just to push in, tear all this apart... Rymark getting up a Caretaker as well, just for extra support for repair for the Sumo. 
So I don't have to go that far back to repair. Yeah, between Sumo and Firewalker, like, there's not a whole lot that Lightman has they can deal with this right now. Some Ravagers, like I said, he's getting a level of Ravager Scorcher. He's getting one of each. All is remaining between them. And he does have an economic advantage, so he could push through, but Reimark has a massive, mostly thanks to the Sumo, massive military advantage. Actually, Sumos and Firewalkers. I mean, there's 3,600 in Firewalkers. There's 2,000, that's 5,600 in Sumos and Firewalkers. If those get, if something comes up close to them, if those Scorchers get up close, they would kill the Firewalkers without issue. However, the rest are puppies, so Reimark does have that. And another Sumo coming in. More Pyros up as well. So Reimark focusing on very heavy units, which is working out very well against Reimark, because he doesn't seem to know what to do with against them. Whether he should get light units or heavy units of his own or what? He is trying to get some Ravagers, but he needs more of them. Far, far more of them. He needs to get, like I said, a dozen or two dozen before he goes to an attack. These Firewalkers, I think it might even be too late for the man. I'm not sure. Hard to say. If he manages to take out a Sumo, then it might not be. And the Sumo taking a decent amount of damage here. Gonna jump onto these Ravagers. Oh, that was a bad way of clumping them. Unfortunately, Lightman had clumped up all of them. And the Firewalker just finishing them off. Sumo taking some damage thanks to the fire, unfortunately. for It does get set on fire. Not fire immune. However, that fire does rather discourage Lightman from sending his forces in here. So yeah, Rymark going to attack the southwest. Probably going to attack the northeast pretty soon. There's a bunch of puppies you can attack the northeast with. The Stardusts are a bit discouraging for that, though, but Lightman does not have a whole lot of units. He has four levelers, four ravagers, and not much else. He's going to be attacking pretty heavily with Scorcher, though. Getting get rid of a Firewalker. That's a good kill. Gets rid of a Firewalker. He needs to do that two more times. Because there's... Actually, one of the Firewalkers apparently has... Where's the Firewalker gone? Oh, middle of the map. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. He needs to get rid of both Firewalkers. If he does so, that would work out very nicely, but he has not done so quite yet. He needs to do so for this to work out nicely, and it looks like he is getting a progressively larger army, but still, Rymark four times the army value. <sighs> Behind an economy, but ahead an army. And Lightman just building up what he needs. He's now getting the units he needs. Unfortunately, losing the southwest. Starting to lose the northeast. He's relying pretty heavily on overdrive, but even with the low power, he's actually not doing... No, never mind. He's getting a fusion plant. That will set him up very nicely. Well, Rymark... More wind generators, but that fusion plant will actually... That should turn things around a bit. We'll see, though. That fusion plant not quite done, and there's actually a lot of Rymark's... Sorry, a lot of Lightman's metal that could be going into army. A little risky, but given that he knows exactly where Rymark's forces are, being that there's not very many of them, just very expensive ones, should work out okay. That fusion plant, about a minute away from being done, looks like... Is the factory being prioritized? No. Fusion plant's not being low priority either. Not sure what's going on there, but yeah, that fusion plant is close-ish to being done. 90% of the way there. Same time, Lightman going for an attack along a pretty decent angle. There are placeholders in the way that should be distracted by the Scorchers. There we go, both of them distracted by the Scorchers. Unfortunately, one of the Ravagers is about to drive right into that black hole. And another goes off, and all the Ravagers, why are they driving into the black hole? That's not where they want to go. Thankfully, most of them do not fall into the black hole, and actually, whale out of... Well away from the Sumo and the Firewalker. Lightman's going to have to stop that Sumo from getting to his main base, but at the same time, he can at least harass up here. No, he's not harassing. He needs to take out all these Wind Generators. If he can get in here, take out the Wind Generators. Okay, he needs to take out the Pyros and Puppies now, but still. He can take these out, but no, he got place held. And that will finish off this raid, unfortunately. Doesn't deal a whole lot of damage. Breaks the Southwest, though. But Lightman is not building units fast enough to actually make that work out. And why is he building another Fusion Reactor? That should not happen. That is... Not what should be happening now. Lightman only needs the one. He does not need two. He needs to be able to units. That is what he needs. All of his metal going into is units right now. Especially the Sumo at his front door. That fusion reactor is not a good idea. The first one was fine because he needs reliable power. The second one is way too much. Especially since he's not even... No, he has no other mechs to overdrive that are nearby. Having lost these front two mechs, Lightman is in a pretty tight spot. I don't think he's going to... I think he's lost this game. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the units to follow up. He could follow up and take out from the southeast, go up. There's no defenses after that point. He'd be able to just rush into the base and rip it apart. But unfortunately, he is not able to do so. Unfortunately for him, fortunately for Rymark. So Rymark pretty much has this game. Just about to lose the sumo, but still pretty much has this game.
Actually, maybe I'll even lose the sumo. I think Lightman might just throw in the towel pretty soon. Gonna go for one more strike, I would imagine. But yeah, this fusion reactor, not what he wants. Admittedly, okay, not a whole lot of metals being poured into that. I can see that, but still, the more metal poured into units, the better. He does not need the fusion reactor right now. The overdrive's not doing a whole lot of good. He needs to harass, needs to get, just break Reimark's defenses. He's He was close to doing it, too. Got rid of some of the placeholders, got rid of all the defenses here, but unfortunately did not get rid of any of the wind generators or anything up the hill. That was all juicy stuff he could have taken out, and he did not manage to do so. Luckily, the sumo just missed there, but still, that's another sumo he has to kill. In fact, I don't think he even killed the first one. No, I think, yeah, there's, yeah, this is the first one that was heavily damaged but not killed. Rymark continuing to get ahead in army value, primarily thanks to sumos and firewalkers, but that's still doing it. They aren't dying. And that's still taking a lot from Lightman to kill. And actually, they're, are they, are they becoming economical? Actually, this sumo has gotten five times its cost, apparently, according to the veterancy. Okay, that's, yeah, 2,000 cost against... Well, against 250 Metal Ravagers, yeah. You kill eight of those, and that's one times cost. So sumos are not only costing, or not only a lot of metal value, they're also just, they're earning their keep in terms of damage dealt. I think Rymark's going for the kill here, though. Rymark is going for the kill. Firewalker's coming in with the sumos and backup, and there'll be enough pyros along the southwest side, mind you, but still, there'll be enough pyros just to finish everything off. Sumo coming in as well from the... Southwest. Sumo's coming in from all sides. Firewalkers as well. Lightman, I think he realizes this is it, but he hasn't quite surrendered yet. Yeah, that's the thing. He is ten he has one tenth of the army value of Rymark right now. The only upside, like I said, is if he can get rid of these sumos easily, which he can't, then at least he'd have something. He'd be able to knock down the army value easily. But it really doesn't matter. Rymark just has everything, and Lightman. Really don't agree with the fusion reactor. Really think he needs more metal. It doesn't matter though, Lightman. That's it. He surrenders. That is game. And Rymark wins. Lightman realizes he was, in fact, completely surrounded. And that is... That is it. That's it for tonight. That's all the games I'm going to be casting. So I hope you enjoyed that. And... Thank you once again all for watching. Have a good night, everyone.